Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Airbus presents the A380 Plus development study. FAA approves extension of TBO on certain Lycoming engine models. And season two of Drone Racing League to premiere this week on ESPN. Hello, I'm Christopher C. Odom. It's June 21st, 2017, and this is Airborne Unlimited. Airbus is presenting a development study for an enhanced A380, the A380 Plus. The study includes aerodynamic improvements, in particular new large winglets and other wing refinements that allow for up to 4% fuel savings. Add it to an optimized A380 maintenance program and enhanced cabin features, the overall benefit is a 13% cost per seat reduction versus today's A380. The new winglets measure approximately 15 feet in height, an uplet of 11 feet and a downlet of 4 feet. It is designed to improve aerodynamics and reduce drag. The optimized cabin layout allows up to 80 additional seats with no compromise on comfort. Redesigned stairs, a combined crew rest compartment, sidewall stowage removal, a new 9 abreast seat configuration in premium economy, and 11 abreast in economy. The A380 Plus will have an increased maximum takeoff weight of 578 metric tons, providing the flexibility of carrying up to 80 more passengers over the current range of 8,200 nautical miles or flying 300 nautical miles further. The A380 Plus features longer maintenance check intervals, a reduced six-year check downtime, and systems improvements which will reduce maintenance costs and increase aircraft availability. The FAA has granted Lycoming Engines a 200-hour extension to the TBO on certain engine models. Lycoming requested a global alternate method of compliance to AD 2010-19-01 from the FAA to allow operators to use the time period specified in Lycoming SI-1009BA to define the time of the next overhaul. In a letter dated June 15, 2017, the FAA said it was approving the global AMOC requested by the company. However, the new 200-hour extension introduced by SI-1009BA is only applicable to engines with 15 in the C-note column, and Note 15 specifies that engines affected by and not in compliance with AD 2012-19-01 are not eligible for the 200-hour extension. All the notes addressing the TBO extension specify that any engine affected by and not in compliance with AD 2012-19-01 are not eligible for the TBO extension. The 12-year calendar time limit currently in SI-1009 has not changed. The new section 15 states that the 200-hour extension to the listed TBO can be applied to Lycoming Factory New, Lycoming Factory Rebuilt, and Lycoming Factory Overhauled Engine Models, engine repairs or field overhauls that are performed by any entity other than the Lycoming Factory in Williamsport, Pennsylvania, must meet several requirements to be eligible. After the break, drone racing on ESPN. The Bristel Light Sport Aircraft is what you are looking for. The Bristel is wider than a Cirrus, faster than a Skyhawk, offers more storage than a Husky, and comes standard with Garmin Avionics. So what are you waiting for? Visit Bristel.com to find out how you can get into a Bristel today. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concorde's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concorde, the heart of your aircraft. Welcome back. If you would like to be a supporter of Airborne Unlimited, send an email to Jim 
at errol-news.net. ESPN has released its schedule for broadcasting the drone racing league events on ESPN, ESPN2, and as a live stream on the ESPN app. The telecast began this week, but will extend throughout July. The races take place in Miami, Atlanta, New Orleans, Boston, and Munich before culminating July 28th with the Drone Racing League Championship in London. ESPN will also telecast reruns of seasons one and two of the DRL and three preseason episodes on ESPN On Demand and through the ESPN app. With some 3,000 Arrow TV programs webcast to cyberspace, sometimes it can be fun to look back and enjoy some of the places we've seen, the flyers we've met, and the planes we've flown. Here's a look at one of our favorite Arrow TV classic episodes. Sure, so we moved over to the Four Corners area this year mm -hmm. from last year because of the we wanted to be centrally located so people could see us. While at EAA Air Venture 2016, ANN stopped by the Pilot Proficiency Center at its new location at what was known as the EAA Four Corners. This new central location brings to light EAA's position that pilot proficiency is key to aviation safety. Search Aero TV Maintaining Your Flying Skills, EAA 2016's Pilot Proficiency Center on Aero TV's news channel. After these messages, the 787 order book grows. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Build and flying with the most exciting line of kit aircraft on the market, the Sonics Aircraft B Models. The B Models offer more room and comfort, more fuel, more panel space, more engine choices, and the same great Sonics Aircraft flight characteristics. Learn more at sonicsaircraft.com. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing a few of those other great stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Boeing and Aircap have announced an order for 30 7879 Dreamliners at the 2017 Paris Air Show. The agreement, valued at $8.1 billion at list prices, makes Aircap the largest customer for the 787 Dreamliner. Aircap has taken delivery of 55 787s, and now, after this order, will have a further 67 787s on backlog, including leasebacks. New research from the Center for Resuscitation Science at Karolinska Institutet and Stockholm South General Hospital in Sweden shows that a specially constructed drone equipped with a defibrillator can be dispatched by alarm and delivered automatically to the site of a cardiac arrest long before an ambulance arrives. The results are published in the medical periodical JAMA. The FAA has issued an SAIB concerning landing gear actuators on Cessna models 172RG, R182, TR182, FR182, and all variants of 210T, 210P210 series airplanes, with the exception of the models 210 and 210A airplanes. The intent is to emphasize the importance of the inspection of main landing gear actuator assemblies following Textron Aviation Supplemental Inspection Documents applicable to each model to prevent malfunctions related to gear extension and retraction. GE Capital Aviation Services has signed a firm order for 100 a 320 Neo family aircraft at the 52nd International Paris Air Show. GCAS has selected CFSIM's LeapX engine for all 100 a 320 Neo family aircraft. This new order brings the total number of Airbus aircraft ordered by GCAS to almost 600 aircraft. Of these, 220 are A320neo family aircraft. 
Tactron Systems Unmanned Systems introduced the Night Warden Tactical Unmanned Aircraft System at the 2017 Paris Air Show. Building upon Tactron Systems' lineage of TUAS, the Night Warden TUAS is the company's new next generation platform, representing the production ready model of the developmental Shadow M2. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch now. Let's get back to the rest of the news. What started as a one-day, one-time event at EAA AirVenture in 2008 has evolved for 10 years. Women Venture will take place for the 10th time in 2017. Kicking off on Monday, July 24th, 2017, AirVenture's opening day is an all-new Women Venture event. The Women Venture Social inform Building 9 from 5.30 p.m. to 7 p.m. On Tuesday, July 25th, an Aviation Appreciation Dinner sponsored by the 99s will take place at 6 p.m. in the EAA Nature Center. Wednesday, July 26th is Women Ventures Day. WAI's traditional Connect Breakfast begins the day at the EAA Nature Center at 8 a.m. Susan Dusenberry, the Vintage Aircraft Association President, and Connie Bolin, EAA Warbirds of America President, are featured speakers. At 11 a.m., Women Venture participants will gather in Boeing Plaza for the annual group photo. Most wearing Women Ventures t-shirts, participants join hundreds of other pro-aviation women for a lively and fun group shot representing the powerful sisterhood of aviation. We are grateful to EAA for their commitment to AirVenture for 10 consecutive years and thank them for the many opportunities women now have to make AirVenture that much more meaningful to them personally, says Dr. Chabrian. Women Venture 2017 will be a fabulous weekend. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited stream daily Monday through Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe. Do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive real-time 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. Keep flying. We'll see you tomorrow.